No thanks. Hello. The sump's all welded up. I welded up the inside as well. Because someone said it would be alright. And it was alright, so thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the baffle on this video. I don't think it will take very long because it's, it's just a kind of... You get this original baffle plate and you weld some bits to it and then you make something else with some rubber and that. And I don't think it will take that long. But I've got a sheet metal roller and I'm, I really want to show everyone. And then the main bulk of the video I, th I think will be the dashboard. Which is mental because I said I'd do that in the last video and it's, it's pretty rare that I actually do what I say it was going to do. You never know, this might take ages and we can, we can leave the dash for a while. We'll see how we get on. There's, there's a lot that needs doing to the dashboard. Um, it, needs to, it needs to be cut to go around the roll cage tubes. It's the easy one, everyone's done that before. But then it needs to be lightened. Anyway, should we get on with it? Let's do this, let's do this kind of group A baffle for the sump. If it's still straight enough for this to bolt into it. Yeah, so we'll crack on with that and then we'll, we might not even do the dash in this video. So let's stop, stop talking about the dashboard. More sumpy, less dashy. So I need to cut two pieces to start off. I've got to cut a piece that I'm going to roll that's going to be like the cylinder that the pickup sits in and then I've got to cut a piece actually I like, I've got to cut a couple of pieces that will be the sides so I need to I'm gonna get the rollers out. Is everyone? Is everyone sat down? Is everyone ready? good is that? Oh, when I got this, all I did was just, I got a tiny strip of aluminium, I rolled that into a little tube, and it made my week. And, the best thing is, Warco took seven years to deliver that bender, but the roller, like three days or something. Anyway, so with the roller, you have to, I learnt this from Wales, you have to leave a little bit extra on the end of whatever you want to roll, because it can't, it can't roll the last 10, 20 mil or so in this thing, so I've left a little bit extra, we'll chop that off, we'll weld it together and then we've got our tube and that's gonna, and that's gonna go something like that. I'll weld, I'll weld it all together and then I'll discuss how I think it works, but I'm sure it'll work.
Right, these are all cut out and I've done those, but unfortunately did the spacing wrong today. So I've had to uh, had to cut both of them out all over again, which is is character building. It takes a better person to throw things away and start again. Ends up better, doesn't it? So they're in the bin. Made two new ones of these. I just need to I just need to chuck the bend in the first one. One of them gets welded to the main kind of welded to the main assembly, um, and the other one I think bolts up to the other side. You find this a lot when you cop in these things that are on the proper cars rather than just winging it. Um, they they seem to do everything for a reason, and it's quite clever really in in how they bend this to cover up some of the drainage holes. I mean, most people won't find this interesting, but I'll probably I'll probably tell you about it anyway once it's welded together. On another note, Shane decided to reinstate the T facilities in this place, but it's, it's unacceptable, things like that. So because I got some self-respect, I, I dived out to uh, get this. I'm going to keep it hidden for a while, I think, so until you're seeing this, Shane, you didn't know that I've got 80 Yorkshire tea bags stashed away here. I don't know where to hide it. Had to do a bit of bit of cutting and profiling on it but if it's a treat now I'm really happy with it. So it goes something like that. And it actually ends up covering up a load of these load of these drain holes. So it makes sure that it's either any of the oil either drains right down into this tube or it comes across into this centre section. I would like to test this somehow once it's we'll talk about that later on. I need to tack this on, double check it still goes in there, and then I'll I'll weld it properly. It, it doesn't need much, does it? Just enough, just enough to get it going. Missing piece of the puzzle actually tell a lie. We have got a. This is getting. I've been doing this for a few days now. This has been getting on a bit. We've got to do the other side, but I'll kind of. I'll gloss over that one. So I've got to cut some of this sheet out. This is Viton Type A. The reason it's Type A is because it's easy to get hold of. I think there's better ones to use. I'm going to double check all the temperatures that this can go to, but basically I think it's like a night trial type rubber so you can use it in, it's what all those, you know the, the silly little BMW flaps that Cosworth and Forge and everyone have copied and Mount Tune and whatnot. Um, it's made out of that but the Group A cars just run a big sheet of it so it can flap around as it wants. Actually uh, 911, I think it might be a 996, I don't know, someone will know won't they? Um, the sumps in them have big flaps like this as standard I think in either the, the GT3 or the GT3 RS engine or something, I don't know, someone will know, let me know. So it's kind of, it's a good method. So I just need to cut a square out of that, drill some holes, rivet it all together and then that will be a really cool little baffle, I'm happy with that.
been going for a while, haven't we? I think, uh, I mean, I can see this fast turning into just a sump baffling video, can you? I don't think it's really got the, got the dash legs in it now. I think it would be a shame as well, right? It would, it would maybe take away from how nice this baffle's turned out. I kind of want to give the baffle a bit of a... I think, it, I think he's done well for himself. I think he should, I think he should get his own show. So, yeah, I'm going to call it, I think. I'm going to say this is going to be a, be a baffle, baffle video. Just got the last bit to finish off, really. And then I'll have a talk through how I think it works. And then if anyone actually knows how it works, then uh, you can tell me. Can you tell I've cleaned one of those before? There we go, got a jig. Not stupid as you look, am I? It's very confusing all this. I think I'm just gonna make the first cut where it is in the picture and then work my way down. I think if I try to figure it all out before these are cut, I won't be able to be able to see it. Right, we've got the final check, put all the baffles in, not put the windage plates on, put the pickup on the block, and then put the sump on the block. Just to, I wanted to check that it was it was like centred and not touching the bottom and very happy with that. Right, I'll take it all to bits and then I think I'll say how, how I think it works. Well, we'll figure it out. Everyone knows how this works, right? That just makes it deeper so it can go to the bottom of the sump. First of all. In case people didn't know, in the last one, did the Group A extension to the bottom where basically I just got another sump and welded it to the bottom of this one, hence why it's, hence why it's got an extra layer. And that's, it's almost two litres extra capacity, so that's, 
that's why that's longer, so it can get all the way to the all the way to the bottom. Then in terms of the baffling that we've just done, we've got this little one on the side. If all the oil's trying to go that way, that's stopping it. And if it's not, then the oil can get back past, right? But it's not exactly, there's only that much room there. I don't think it's doing a massive amount, but it, it might help with the oil draining back down. It stops it going here and channels it straight towards the pickup. This is the same deal, right? It's just, it's just flaps to stop the oil going in one direction, apart from the capacity is a bit bigger, so it should make a bit more difference. I've always looked at these cylinder vibes and wondered how they work. I think because the pickup sits so far down it, it means that it makes sure it, it's only trying to suck oil off the bottom 10, 10 mil. It can't, it can't get it from anywhere else. But the only concern that I did have is that the pump does like a litre a second, which is on the spec, but I'm relatively sceptical about that because it's a lot, isn't it? You, like maybe if it's not delivering the pressure it does a litre a second, but... So I was worried it might just drain all of the oil down from the top, just... But we'll find out. If you know, let me know. Um, what else this does is, because you because you blank off a load of hot holes on the bottom of it, when the oil's draining down from the engine, it just goes straight into this cylinder, most of it anyway, so then it's going straight onto the pickup, which is good, right? So I'm pretty confident. I had nothing in it before. It'll be a lot quicker now, but I had nothing in it before. And I like all these I like all these flappy bits. We'll take it as a win, I think. That's the end of the sump stuff from now. Um, I did say we were gonna do dash this time, didn't we? So yeah, I don't know what we'll do next time. I'm I'm hoping dash. I'm probably gonna get it I'm probably gonna start it in a minute, so chances are although I've done that before and it hasn't worked, so we'll just we'll just take what comes to us.